Thanks for joining us today for this webinar entitled Realistic Simulation for Optimized Packaging. And today we're going to explore rigid plastic packaging. And we're happy to have with us today Pierre Pagliugi. He is an R&D simulation engineer at Dassault System. And Pierre has extensive expertise in technical development across packaging design and simulation, mechanical engineering, and business process engineering, all at Dassault System. My name is Brian Carboni. I'll be your host today. I'm the industry marketing leader for the CPG and retail industry vertical at Dassault System. I have a 20 year background in the CPG industry across marketing and sales roles with companies like the Gillette Company, Procter & Gamble, and Helen of Troy before joining Dassault System. For an overview today, we'll talk about the trends and challenges facing the CPG industry and packaging and why simulation is needed more than ever in this day and age. And then Pierre will take us through a technical demonstration of our simulation capabilities. Now for trends in the CPG industry, consumers today are continually reevaluating and changing the way that they view, they interact with and discard packaging. And some of the key trends that have emerged are sustainability. Now sustainability is, is now part of the perception and identity. Uh, of a brand. It has become that important to consumers and retailers alike. And in terms of convenience, with today's busy lifestyles of consumers, they are reverting back to smaller, lighter, and more easily disposable packaging to fit those uh, busy lifestyles. And in terms of cost-effective shopping, people obviously don't want to pay more than they have to, but this trend towards smaller, lighter uh, packages has made consumers more money conscious in their buying decisions. So optimizing the cost on packaging is critical as a response. And there are some pretty significant challenges in the CPG industry. As customers, and in this case, customers mean retailers, as, as customers and consumers want more variety, they want more product innovation, they want high quality at a low price, and they want products to be sustainable that's putting pressure back on the packaging manufacturer as they need to think about the energy cost, the material cost of their packages, and what type of environmental impact well, will those materials and those packages have. The real issue here as CPG brand manufacturers or packaging suppliers look at a package design, it's an optimization problem. And in order to get that perfect package, now, like the chart says, you want to be here in this sweet spot. You want the minimal amount of material used, yet also have that package be reliable enough to stand up in manufacturing, in transport, and to have a very um, healthy and sturdy life uh, on the shelf. Now, if you don't use enough material, yes, you'll have lower material costs, but, but the damage costs may outweigh that in the long run. And if you have too much material, Obviously, your materials costs go up, but you may also price yourself out of the market, um, just remembering back to, to the consumer trend of, of more cost-effective shopping. So the real issue we need to ask is, how do you get to that perfect package as quickly as possible? Now, traditionally, the model looks like this. You design packaging, you build a prototype, you test that prototype, and you understand its strengths and weaknesses, and you repeat the process with an updated design. And you do this continually until you feel you've put your best foot forward in terms of packaging. Now, there's a couple problems um, with this method. One, it's time consuming. And with competition, global competition on the rise, speed to market is more critical than ever. And this traditional method could be slowing your, your enterprise down. It's also costly, not just in terms of uh, the, the cost of building prototypes and testing them, but the cost to have all these engineers working on a project for a longer period of time and perhaps not on other uh, innovative projects. And how do you know that package is optimized? Now, simulation comes with some solutions in these areas. With simulation, you can fake it before you make it. 
Uh, simulation allows you to evaluate multiple designs up front in the design process. Uh, you can consider uh, more design alternatives earlier. It enables non-simulation experts, like me, to prove out their designs through access to streamlined processes. And you can capture, share, and reuse simulation and analysis data throughout your company, so on, multi on multiple brands. Now, our solution is called the Perfect Package Industry Solution Experience. It's a platform-based model, and with our simulation tools, there are multiple benefits, including you can reduce your package weight to decrease your materials costs and drive lower CO2 emissions. So uh, think sustainability and lower cost. You can accelerate your design time by removing the need for physical prototyping and testing. So that, that cycle you're in of constantly uh, designing, building, and testing, you can streamline that. And you can optimize your package design to increase shelf life and really delight that consumer. We have simulation solutions across multiple types of packaging, including flexible, rigid plastic, and cardboard. And today we're going to discuss rigid plastic packaging. And I'll turn it over to Pierre for a technical demonstration. Hello everybody. So in this video, I will show you how to perform a compression simulation with the 3 d plant platform. So in this video, what I will do, basically, I want to compress in the Z direction the bottle uh, by blocking all the degree of freedom of the bottom and applying Z translation on the top. So this bottle is made with a Katia application named Generative Shape Design and he, this bottle is made with um, parameters. So these parameters will allow me to change the design, for example, the radius of the bottom ribs, the number of the ribs on the bottom, and also the radius of the midsection. So the idea is to change all the parameters to perform optimization with process apps uh, by replaying every time a compression simulation and to be sure that the action force is still good. So here I will create an FEA simulation with the role mechanical uh, scenario, uh, so in the role mechanical analyst. So I will create at first an explicit step. So why an explicit step? It's to be sure that I will handle and I will capture all the dynamic behavior of the bottle. Then I go to the model, I select my bottle in order to be simulated, and then I will go on a very important part is the mesh. As my bottle is a surface sick model, I will create a surface sick quad meshing uh, with a very small size in order to capture all the detail of the bottle. So a quad mesh is very good for this kind of example because it's a very regular mesh. Then I will apply some material property so the material property will capture all the elasticity and plasticity behavior of the plastic so it's a PET uh, material and then I will apply a shell section shell section because it's a surface uh, mesh and I want to use a shell section element then on the top I will create a kinematic coupling and what I mean is all the elements of the top will move uh, in the same time and then I create a group for the bottom. Why I create a group? It's to capture all the surface and all the elements of the surface as selected in order to be blocked uh, during my simulation. So now I'm doing on my scenario and the scenario is very basic. I will block the group I selected before so I will block the deplacement on the Z direction and then I will select my free coupling, my kinematic coupling on the top and apply a Z translation of 25 mm. Then I want to define an amplitude in order to have a linear um, translation. So I adapt my amplitude to my translation. Then I will use a mass scaling. So mass scaling is typical with uh, explicit step and it will help the solver by adding some mass to the element to be faster uh, without changing the result. And to recap, 
uh, please visit www.3ds.com backslash perfect dash package. On our site, you can get more information on our solutions. You can download free case studies, including Westrock, Amcor, Sankoban, and PTI. And you'll have access to uh, other white papers and eBooks as reference materials. We'd like to thank you, and we hope we talk to you soon. Thank you.